Isaac Newton was born prematurely on December 25, 1642, in Woolsthorpe, England. His father died before he was born, and his mother remarried and decided to move away, leaving him in the care of his grandparents. Despite these challenges, Newton was an exceptional student and showed an early interest in mathematics and science. In 1661, Newton enrolled at Trinity College, Cambridge. It was here that he began to work on his most famous laws of motion. Newton's Laws of Motion In summary, Newton's Laws of Motion are some of the most fundamental laws in physics. These laws describe how objects move, how force affects motion, and how to calculate acceleration. The first law, also known as the Law of Inertia, states that an object will remain in motion or at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. The second law, F equals sine ma, describes how force and mass are related to acceleration. Finally, the third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Overall, Newton's laws of motion are essential to understanding the behavior of objects in our universe. Newton's work in optics. Newton's work in optics revolutionized our understanding of light, allowing for significant progress in our knowledge of physics and engineering. When it comes to Isaac Newton, the first thing that comes to mind is his groundbreaking discovery of the laws of motion, the law of universal gravitation. However, it is equally important to recognize his contribution to the field of optics. In his famous book, Optics, Newton detailed his experiments on the dispersion of light and the discovery of the prism. He also explained the concept of light refraction and reflection, providing a deeper understanding of how we see the world around us. Newton's work in optics opened up a whole new realm of scientific exploration, paving the way for further advancements in the field of physics and engineering. Newton proposed the corpuscle theory of light, according to which light is made up of small, discrete particles which travel in a straight line and possess finite velocity. This early conception of the particle theory of light was an early forerunner to the modern understanding of the photon. Political and Religious Beliefs Isaac Newton was famously reticent about his political and religious beliefs. However, Newton's work as a mathematician, physicist, and astronomer represented a break with traditional Aristotelian philosophy and challenged religious orthodoxy. Newton's laws of motion, for example, provided a scientific basis for understanding the physical universe that freed science from the constraints of religious dogma. Newton was a member of the Church of England, but his theological views were unconventional, and he was known to harbor doubts about the divinity of Christ. Despite his reputation as a scientific revolutionary, Newton's political views were conservative, and he supported authoritarian government as a guarantor of peace and stability. Controversies and Criticisms of Newton Despite facing accusations of secrecy and plagiarism, Isaac Newton's contributions to science are widely acknowledged, and he continues to be a source of inspiration for modern scientists. Isaac Newton was also a complex man with his own share of controversies and criticisms. Some of his contemporaries accused him of being too secretive and not sharing his scientific theories with others. Newton was also involved in a bitter conflict with German mathematician Gottfried Leibniz over the invention of calculus. Newton was accused of plagiarizing Leibniz's work, but both men were eventually credited with independent discoveries of calculus. Despite these controversies, Newton's contributions to science are undeniable, and he remains an inspiration to many modern scientists.